What's up guys, it's me Excelsior. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Optifine with Minecraft Forge. It's gonna be very easy. All you're going to have to do is to do exactly what I show you. So let's go to my screen. So here are we are. First you wanna get Minecraft Forge. You want to get the newest version you'd like to play on. So I'm going to go with 16.5. Going to download. Going to keep. Make sure to not keep these ads open. You're going to hit the Forge button. Then install to your Minecraft app, uh, Minecraft folder. This should be fairly quickly. In the meanwhile, we can go to Minecraft OptiForge, which you're going to need. So we're going to go for 16.5 here as well. So you're going to download that here. Your Forge installation is still being worked on. Then you want to go download Minix Bootstrap Mod 16.5. All this does is allow you to um, to install Optifine. So I don't think this does a whole lot for itself. It's just kind of a supplementary mod that you need. So you're gonna download 16.5 as well, or whatever version you chose. Meanwhile, Forge installed successfully. Then you wanna go to uh, Minecraft. And you also want to go here over to Optifine. Gonna go with uh, 16.5. Where is it? All the way down here. Gonna download server one. Download it. Perfect. Now you're going to going to start your Minecraft account. Go down here. Click on Forge 16.5 and start the game. It will tell you that you have uh, installed a mod, so that's great. So you just quickly need to do that. It will start itself up. Perfect, once it's open you can close it again. Go press your Windows and R key. Hit App Data down here in the Run section. Go for Roaming dot minecraft mods then you're gonna wanna put in from your download section your um, you're gonna wanna put in your uh, your mods that you just downloaded so you wanna hit it hit hit um, optifine first you wanna hit the optifine forge mod 16.5 then you want to use the bootstrap mod and also the Optifine mod. So once they're all in there, you can go close that and go back to Minecraft. And everything should now soon be ready to work. Once your Minecraft is open, just start it. Oh, I accidentally downloaded the wrong one. So you need to download Optifine G7. Um, so let's be careful this time. G7, that's my bad, guys. You need to put the G7 at the end, else it's not gonna work, like we just saw. Of course, I totally did that on purpose, my friends, to show you I am idiot. Okay, let's get... Oh yeah, we can't do that because it's open. Let's just quickly close our Minecraft. Then delete delete this thingy here. And put in the right one. So now you're gonna wanna start Minecraft. And it should work this time. Alright, so let's go on to our map. 
see if it works. See if it works. I should be wearing a cape. But it does work. So now you can go into your options, controls, and search for the Optifine key. Zoom, which is on C. Um, so it can just look like this. And yeah, it does perfectly work fine, perfectly fine. Our frame light afraid should be a little bit better now as well. What is it? 275 FPS, not that great actually. But you know, uh, my computer is having some issues lately anyway. But that was interesting. Whatever guys, so that's it for the tutorial. That's all you need to do to install Minecraft Optifine. If you purchase the cape, you should have one now. Again, it's pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And goodbye.